What is a Gigafactory? I'm Phil Curry here with another entry into AutoVista 24's What Is Explainer series. With the advance of battery technology in vehicles comes a number of new manufacturing processes and terms, and a Gigafactory is one of these. Gigafactory is the name used for an EV battery manufacturing plant. These production facilities do not produce vehicles themselves, but supply the battery cells and technology that goes into powering hybrids, plug-in hybrids, and battery electric vehicles. They are an increasingly important part of the EV supply chain. Currently, a majority of these gigafactories are located in Asia. However, car makers and battery manufacturers are looking to expand globally, with dozens of new locations proposed across Europe alone. It is believed the first use of the term gigafactory is accredited to Tesla CEO Elon Musk. The word comes from a combination of giga, meaning a measurement that has been multiplied by 1 billion, and factory. A gigafactory is measured by the energy capacity of the batteries it produces rather than the total number of units. At any one time it could be producing smaller batteries for hybrids and plug-in hybrids, or larger capacity batteries for battery electric vehicles. The measurement used is a gigawatt hour, and one gigawatt hour is equivalent to around 17,000 battery units. According to data from EV volumes, CATL was the biggest producer of batteries in 2023, with 243.3 gigawatt hours, a 36% share of the market. Next came BYD with a cell volume of 117 gigawatt hours and 17% of the market, followed by LG Energy Solutions, which produced 106.8 gigawatt hours, taking 16% of overall battery production last year. Gigafactories are complex. They are not just made up of simple production lines, but have to include clean rooms with filtration to achieve low levels of dust and any other potentially harmful particles. There's also a need for dry rooms with low humidity. Their makeup can resemble a semiconductor chip plant. This means their development is difficult. A gigafactory needs to be carefully planned, utilizing the right equipment. They cannot be rushed into service with many gigafactories slowing the building up to their full potential over a period of months or sometimes even years. This allows for production lines to be tested and to be calibrated as necessary. Gigafactories also need to be future-proofed so they can continue to function as technology changes. This means they are being developed with one eye on new developments, such as solid-state batteries. We have already covered topics including hybrid drive systems, electric vehicles, bi-directional charging, hydrogen fuel cells, and other automotive technologies and terms, and you can find these on the AutoVista24 YouTube channel. While there, don't forget to like and to subscribe. You can also see the latest automotive market analysis, including registration figure breakdowns, EV market updates, and new vehicle launch reports on autovista24.com. Finally, check out the AutoVista24 podcast to hear the latest in-depth analysis of current market trends. Thank you very much for watching.